Hey everyone and welcome to day one in Infinity Island. Infinity Island is a mobile game very similar to normal Pokemon games, but this one with a lot of exploring, character customization and other stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> After you select your main character in your name, you are sent to your house, like normal stuff in normal Pokemon games, but then you have a teacher Pikachu with two and a half years of experience, it's freaking awesome. You go around the city, you talk with some people, and finally you get to select your starter Pokemon. Between the three Kanto starters, I decided to go with Squirtle to honor a good friend of mine, Vegito. And from this point is when the game actually started, I'm happy to say that I really enjoyed the first battle, the battle experience is just something different from all the games that we see usually, and actually feels like a real Pokemon game. But of course, this is not a real Pokemon game, this is a gacha game, so you will have a lot of adaptations in order to increase the power of your Pokemon, and the game along the way will teach you multiple things. Some things are useful, other things not so much. Squirts water to attack, um, uh, thank you I guess. After some battles we explored the game a little bit more with exploring the menus, the events and stuff, and also we learned how to catch our Pokemons. This Clefairy decided to show up, so I decided to catch her just for the Pokedex. I learned how to use the gacha, got myself a free Bulbazar, and later I also got myself a free Alolan Ninetales that was waiting for me in my email. A few battles later, I am now level 11, and now I started learning more about cards, which are ways to power up your Pokemon. My Squirtle was now becoming a big boy, so I guess he deserves to hold a berry. Oh, and some few minutes later, Mr. Professor Pikachu decided to reward me with a lucky egg for my Squirtle. And then I have my first struggle. You see, in games like this, in these kinds of gacha games, you usually want to do as much as you can on the day one before midnight, because usually at midnight the game resets, it has new events, etc, etc. So, because I started the game a little bit late, I was trying to speedrun, and my squirrel got frozen in a battle and I was like, oh crap, I cannot play with just one Pokemon to clear this game yet. So with that said, we welcome Charmander to the team because I decided to level him up to help me out with the quests. If you are the kind of player that usually enjoys reading the quests, you will see that Professor O calls himself a genius a lot of times. This is probably because you are out on an adventure while he's alone with your mom, but that's for another story. I got a free skateboard from achieving level 10 and now I can just skate around the town. I am also making sure that I make missions related to this Tyranitar event so that I can claim the Tyranitar after 7 days. After a few more quests, boom, level 16, and you know what that means, we can finally evolve our starter Pokemon. So decided to evolve our Squirtle over here. Squirtle evolved into a War Turtle, and now I will have my first evolution of the game. But I believe the evolution made them a little bit dumber, because he, could, he just kept getting stuck behind fences and walls and stuff. I basically just continued using War Turtle for everything. So far, he was just the solution for all my problems. Now, I reach level 17 and I unlock the arena. The arena seems awesome in a way, it has like a, a lot of explanation, I like the way that this game explains stuff. It also has their ranks according to newbie, like master, diamond, challenger, also reminds me a little bit of League of Legends. Also has like arena shop, things that you can do, like a lot of things, refreshing lists of trainers so that you can fight against trainers of multiple powers, you can select your offensive setup, your defensive setup, that's something that I enjoy in a way, like you select a different team to attack and a different team to defend, well, and you can also see the highest points, the highest ranked players of the server already, this guy level 35 up there, some guys level 38 and stuff, well, I'm still a newbie, I'm still starting around over here, and it says brave newbie, that's my reward. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yo, um, I really, look at this, look at this, this is beautiful, um, I really like the, this, I mean, it's beautiful because it reminds me of League of Legends and I do play League of Legends, but that's another story. And now, because I am on a new city, I decided to check out what Pokemons can I catch. This map function is awesome, by the way, and these Pokemons that I can catch over here, there are some that could interest me, but I decided not to go for any of them. And while I was roaming around the map, I found this weekend and I was like, oh, look! That's a cool statue or Pokemon from another trainer and stuff. I'm pretty sure I cannot catch this guy because, well, it probably belongs to another person. No. <laughs> I was completely wrong. It's like, I was amazed by the Pokemon being there, I thought it was a cool addition, but later I found out that that's actually a catchable Pokemon. It's legendary in the middle of the city that you can catch. In a way, honestly, I'll just give my honest opinion, it was not making sense, that's why I did not even try to interact with it. 
but actually you can catch the Pokemon, so that's one of the Pokemons that we will want to catch in the future. And you wanna know another thing that I was confused about, but I actually found it fun in a way, is that the first gym, it said that it was to defeat Brock, so the mission said that I had to defeat Brock, I had to defeat around 10 players in order to be able to challenge Brock and defeat the first gym, but all of these players, and I was like, okay, let me put my <laughs> Charmander, <laughs> my Charmeleon, I mean, in the first place, all of these players were actually bug type, and I was like, wait, hold on, Brock, Brock, bug type, question mark, no, uh, actually, apparently, of course, the names are still over there, Brock is supposed to be a rock type in the original games, but over here they decided to make a bug type gym, and sure, why not, it works out. So in this gym I was struggling a little bit, so I had to do some changes, some upgrades on my team, and after a few changes I was ready, so enjoy the battle. So even though I was getting my Ninetales ready for this battle, I ended up using mostly just War Turtle and Charmeleon. I continued the grind, continued doing some quests, and I was actually surprised by a trainer who had Poipole, which is an Ultra Beast for those who don't know. After grinding for a little bit, I decided to have a break, okay? I went to the arena and decided to challenge some players, getting a higher arena ranking, and actually I have 5 chances a day, so why not? I did some battles, I actually had some fun, I upgraded some Pokemon as well in order to have the defensing team, and I even got myself an Ivysaur, I believe? Yeah, I ended up powering up my Bulbasaur since I did not touch him since the start of the game, but I was like, okay, maybe I need a different defensive team because I noticed that if you get attacked you get lower in rankings and yada yada you get lower points so I was like why not getting an Ivysaur and now I have an Ivysaur in my team which makes my team a little bit more balanced. Oh and did you notice the egg over there? Yeah I got it somewhere somehow on a quest and it's there it exists there's an egg. Oh and I just want to point out that I was playing this at like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. in my time. I was trying to make all the dailies that I could before the midnight of the game itself. And the main goal was to do all the, the things, all the quests that I could in a single day until I would feel stuck. And an hour later, that's exactly what happened. I grinded so much, but at that time, it was almost 5 in the morning, my brain was not working, I was stuck, finally. But I think what tilted me the most is that I paralyzed a mega beedrill and I was like okay this is it I am no longer stuck this guy has to go down and even though he was still first attacking on one of my main Pokemons and I was like okay now screw this I'm gonna sleep uh, hell no <laughs> I'm out of here don't take me wrong though I enjoy a challenge but it was so damn late that I started playing that it ended up affecting my brain <laughs> so yeah I ended the day at level 29 I believe I could do a little bit better but of course I started the game late so it's my fault even though I still hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed let me know in the comments if I should go for a part two and also so download links are in the description and enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.